Silicon Valley, technology, art, green, and sustainability. Welcome to Silicon Valley Tech, Art, Green, and Sustainability. Today I'm very honored to have a guest with me who's a journalist as well and has been um, working in the auto industry, journalism and PR and all kinds of stuff. Michael Coates, welcome. Thank you, good yeah. to be here. And you've been on the road for a few days, so thank you for an extra special thank you for, for making it here. I know you're tired. <laughs> Yeah, I got a lot going on. There, there is a lot happening in the state of California. Yes, <laughs> there's there's a lot in the auto industry, which I'm again mm -hmm. I'm very honored that you're here. Um, but before we, before we talk about uh, Clean Fleet Report and the Western um, automotive uh, journalists, let's uh, talk about you and what you've done with your amazing career. And <laughs> are you from here originally, California? Um, I'm a Pacific Northwest boy originally. Okay. Uh, moved down to California for college and have pretty much stuck here. Uh, got started. Where in college? I uh, graduated from Cal State Fullerton. Oh, so okay. So good, good Cal State grad. Okay. Good state college. And what did you graduate in? Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> actually graduated in comparative literature. Okay. Then got an elementary teaching credential. Wow. And then decided I would rather be a journalist. I just <laughs> learned something new. I, I, I thought it was engineering too, but no. No, no, no. No, okay. Just, I, so you I were play an engineer you sometimes. You were a teacher. That's interesting. Well, I, I found out that I really wasn't cut out for teaching. So uh, I uh, literally answered an ad in the LA Times uh, that was looking for starter startup journalists uh, and ended up going up to Canada as a uh, writer and photographer for a news magazine. And what kind of magazine was it? It was news news magazine. So it was a weekly news magazine. In Canada. It was kind of was like it? it was like Time magazine or Newsweek except it was local. And it's, so it was cold. And it was uh, 60 inches of snow on the ground when I landed there in January. Wow. Uh, wow. So coming from Southern California, that was quite a, quite a transition. But uh, it was a great job because I really, I really got to learn on the job um, writing, writing news stories, taking photos. Uh, and it was a, just a wonderful introduction. I actually started working with uh, Canadian Broadcasting Company a little bit up there as well. And you have you have a family. Uh, You're married. I'm married with a daughter who's just about to graduate from graduate school. So awesome. Uh, great fun. And did so you guys meet in college? No, we met long long after when I was uh, a magazine editor and she was doing public relations for one of the auto companies. And you so. did public relations as well, right? For uh, I, I transitioned after after working for for quite a while in both traditional journalism and automotive journalism, uh, which are two kind of different different segments, uh, I was recruited to go into public relations working for some of the auto companies. And so I've worked, uh, kind of left journalism at that point, started working uh, doing public relations, um, kind of on the other side of the fence. And people can go mm. on LinkedIn and see your extensive background oh, yeah. as well, yeah. right? It's so in, in, in great detail. <laughs> so um, cl uh, Clean Fleet Report, is that, am I getting that right? Uh, yeah, and so I, I came back, uh, uh, just uh, give you a short little transition. Uh, a business partner and I founded our own public relations company um, in 2003, so about uh, 13 years ago, uh, focusing on environmental automotive uh, public relations and government relations work. And so we've been working with auto companies and suppliers uh, in that field. Um, and then more recently, in the last five years or so, I got back into writing again and now have my own website, also publish with uh, different websites and magazines as well. It's interesting, I was just reading um, how the National Resource Defense Council started. And Ford was actually their big funder mm -hmm. that started it, which is amazing. Um, but um, yeah, so that's pretty interesting. So uh, it, so then you got into the Clean Fleet. Yeah, uh, so I've, uh, I've taken over this website called Clean Fleet Report. Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit of a misnomer because it sounds like it's about fleets. Uh, but it's really, uh, most of our traffic comes from organic search. 
So it's people who are coming for our content, which is primarily reviews of uh, electric cars, plug-in cars, well, you just wrote something on like clean the 14th diesels. of this month or 15th, right. right? So are you publishing on there all the time? Yeah, or? we published, uh, I think, 62 uh, stories last year, all all written and by myself And there's a bunch of them already and this year. Yep. And there's, what, 10 people? or? Uh, we have, uh, the core staff is uh, myself and two other automotive journalists, uh, and then we get some uh, con contributions in from other folks as well. Let's pull up the slide with the clean fleet as well, the first one. So um, it says on the site, covered on the site, uh, top tens, electric cars, plug-in hybrids, hybrid cars, clean diesel, MPG, mile per gallon, is that, am I getting that yes, right? Yes, yep. Um, and then uh, test drive, and is that AWD for all-wheel? All-wheel drive. Okay. Which so is I interesting, people, uh, the, there's a couple things that really bring a lot of people to the site. One is writing about electric vehicles. Well, before we go there, oh, sorry, let's sorry. talk about on the sure. slide there. What is that there? You oh gave us that, yes, you that, gave us that um, photo. So tell us about the slide. That's the newest Tesla. That's the Model X. Uh, you see its classic Falcon wing doors yes, there. Yes, I love it. Uh, it just uh, launched last year. They have uh, delivered like the first 200, 300 of them. Um, and it's uh, it's an exciting car. It's a, it's a, uh, expanding the Tesla model range. Did you get a test drive it yet? I have not been in it yet. They uh, Tesla doesn't work well with the media right now. They don't right really now. They let don't, us in very they much, right? They don't promote it. Oh, yeah. Promote themselves. Because they're kind of sold out ahead of time, and they don't really need. Well, that may or may not be changing, but it's okay. but they yeah they they just they have a different relationship with the media that the other auto companies do. Uh, but they're building great cars and, uh, you know, have had a lot of success so far. So we'll have to work on, on getting a test drive. Yes, on that absolutely. Together. Um, so back to the clean fleet, um, the all-wheel drive and, and, yeah. Yeah, so people uh, typically are coming to the site looking for uh, our reviews of uh, electric cars. I mean, the most popular page is uh, top 10 electric cars, uh, which we refresh that on a regular basis to keep it so it's up to date. Uh, but also people are interested in high mileage vehicles and particularly in all wheel drive vehicles. So what do you mean by high mileage? Uh, high fuel, uh, good, so they get good fuel economy. So per gallon or 40 per gallon? We, or? Yeah, we look for a sedan, we're looking at at least 40 miles per gallon. Okay. For an all wheel drive, at least 30 miles per gallon. Okay. And interestingly, the population of vehicles that meet that is, is just growing exponentially. Um, but yeah, a lot of people are looking and I, I take it, it's, it's what people are looking for. They're looking for not just uh, electric vehicles or really environmentally conscious vehicles, but also something that they can, they can do what they need to do. They with. can go from yeah. A to B and it's right. not gonna cost them as much. Right. And of course, gas has gone down a little bit, so that's another whole <coughs> ball of wax mm. there. Mm -hmm. um, so, so what's your area then, or do you cover pretty much everything that's on that list? Yeah, yeah, we, we that's that's the the laundry list and and more too. We've got uh, we've started looking at areas like green motorsports because um, there's more and more environmental. It's like Formula One vehicles are now hybrid vehicles. There, there's a lot of advanced technology that's that's coming into the auto industry across the board. And th is that like pretty full time for you then? Uh, it, f it feels like it sometimes. <laughs> uh, I, I split my time between the, my public relations business and the writing, and, and do try and keep them as two separate entities as well. Um, and so you were just gone for a few days. Were you writing or? Uh, no, this was the public relations work over in Sacramento, talking with some of the regulators and the NGO community uh, over there. Interesting. Yeah. So Western Automotive Journalist. Tell us about that, and let me pull up the slide for that really quick okay. as well, too. Um, so this was an event um, that I got to join. Somebody sent me the information, and I contacted you last fall, and it was a great event. Um, uh, and it, what is this event called now? It's called Silicon Valley Reinvents the Wheel. And it was something else later, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> so let's pull that down. That's one of many events that you guys do. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that, and, and how many people are in the group. And Well, yeah, let's Western Automotive Journalist formed uh, 1994, so quite a while ago, 20-some years. Yeah. Um, uh, and it was, it's a San Francisco area, Bay Area based organization. And some of the automotive journalists in the area, at that time it was primarily newspaper journalists who were writing 
test reviews of vehicles every week, got together and form, formed the organization just to, you know, to, to hold events uh, once a year, go to the track and uh, have a big event there. We started this um, Silicon Valley reinvents the wheel to focus a little more on kind of our local technology that's being developed here in the Silicon Valley. And there's a lot of it. How do you find the journalists for this? Are they like me? Do they find you? Um, 